Right here, guys, are guarding the bliss. Guys, I'm not sure I'm like the first foreigner I've like, ever had. I have not seen a single person out here. They got like games and stuff? Dang, they got like a freaking. All these games. Hello, <laughs> man. Leaving this bar village now to go meet someone and then go to a different bar village. So that was cool. Hello, me. Damn, that cow has weird horns. Salama. So, the starter doesn't work again. Maybe it was too good to be true. But yeah, so I gotta use the kick thing again. Maybe I can get a fix in Fairfangana. Okay, the guy that was uh, gonna, that connected me with his uh, friend in this bar or village, he was having phone issues this morning, so got kind of a late start but he just pinned me the location where I'm supposed to turn off the main road and then go for like an hour through the countryside and uh, yeah I'll take it from there but he uh, his friend in the village knows I'm coming and he's actually the mayor of the village so it will be interesting to see what it is when I arrive Welcome to Bara Country out here. I was in a Bara Village last night too, but this is like really what I think of when I think of Bara. You're about to see it. Village is like way out there. This is crazy out here. It's so wild looking. Good. All right, this is where I turn now for 25 kilometers. It said right where the guys are guarding it with. Guns and whatever else. Oh, it actually, oh, right in the fork in the road. I think I go to the right side. We shall see. Village name is Ankazo. Whatever. I don't even know. Let's see though. mayor of this village is expecting me so it's not too sketchy should be there at least uh, maybe not the village but like the main the place I'm meeting the mayor in like half an hour down this road I think the 
this is right. I think all these roads should like lead to the same place. It's crazy because I've hit a few like fork in the roads, but I think they so far like they all like rejoin later. Like it's weird that they even have these forks in the road. I've not seen a single person out here since I've been uh, on this road. Actually, that's not true. There are these people washing clothes or whatever. But definitely no one on the actual road. It feels so what, dank. Look at that. It's so like wide open. There are little villages out there. You can see them. so bright out here like I don't know the green like grass looks so green and, like the hills look so blue there's a bar village right there we're getting a little closer to them oh I gotta focus on this road unique parts of Madagascar. I need to learn more about it. Maybe I will tonight in this village. So Google Maps, which I have up here, has me right now. Um, directly parallel to the road. So I don't know if one of those forks I took actually took me to like the wrong road. But also Google Maps has been wrong like every time I've used it out in the countryside so who knows. But uh, I think I'm going the right way. I'm going to keep going for a little while longer before I reevaluate. But I think I'm going the right way. Google Maps does have me back on the, the right road so I guess that was right. And yeah, just back on another one of these crazy looking roads. This kind of reminds me of like that uh, opening scene in Gladiator. If anyone remembers that. With the like wheat or whatever. That's kind of what it looks like. Not that I really have to describe it because you're all watching. But, but yeah. Dang, look at this. careful on these like this road like I feel like some of this could be random like soft sand patches you gotta, gotta be careful I want to make sure I get there before dark which I will but Got a later start today than expected, but on my way back, I'm definitely gonna take a bunch of pictures of this stuff. I think I took a wrong path here. I'll turn around. Just, I like just took it two seconds ago. But yeah, I think. Oh wait, how far do I gotta go back? 
That just, it seemed like it totally went off here to the opposite direction that I'm going. Or not opposite. I've definitely never been out. Uh, I mean, I did come out to like bar country once just riding through, but never been out this far. You see the villages here, like, they like surround themselves with those special trees. They have some sort of like cultural or local religious value. But all the villages surround themselves with them. Like they encircle their village with it. Yeah, now there's... I think I'm coming close to where I'm supposed to be going because there's a bunch of people here. This guy's got an axe. That's like the thing here. A lot of people carry axes. I wonder if this guy's also got an axe. He does. Damn, look at all these trees. Oh, whoa. Was not expecting this. Dang, this guy's got a freaking John Deere. Dang, that was not what I was expecting. So I guess these trees are here for a reason. Damn, look at that. They got, like, irrigation and stuff. Dang, I was not... This is, like, rare to see in Madagascar. I don't know if I've ever seen John Deere, like, in Madagascar, like, a big tractor or whatever those are called out here like especially not in a place like this Salama and that's a school so we made it to the town the uh the commune or whatever this isn't the village but this is like the main commune and um yeah now I just gotta find the mayor he should be Somewhere right around here. Yeah. Gotta find the mayor's office. Guri. Salama. Guri. Guri. Dang, they must, I'm sure I'm like the first foreigner like ever out here. Actually, I think. May have gone too far. Akuri Abi. Salamo. Azafad. Hi. We see the mayor. Okay. Okay. Stepping all over this guy's peanuts. Uh, oh. uh, dude, I don't know if I can because there's this. I don't want to crush all this guy's produce. So, J. I think I'm supposed to keep following this guy. Salam. And they got a little store here. Got some. Oh, dang. They got foosball. And like pool kind of 
They got like games and stuff. Dang, they got like a freaking all these games. They actually have a lot here for this, like, for where we are. Alright, the mayor just got here. Now, I'm following the mayor. That is the mayor in the yellow shirt. Hey, you going fast on these roads. I guess I just should just follow his, like, path. Just had a meeting with the mayor and I think we're going to his house now putting some of my stuff away I'll spend the night there and then we're gonna go out to like some of the more remote villages to do photo stuff me and him that's at least my understanding of what just happened following these guys now to a different village just put all my stuff in their house in his house the mayor's house uh, I got my tripod and my basket in the back I hope it doesn't fly out all right I think this is the village I mean it definitely is but yeah here we go All right, we're going to another location to take more pictures. That was cool. They did like a blessing on me for a safe journey on the moto. Hey, 